Hello folks, The Great Scott the Magician here, and this is video number four in a series of videos that I'm doing exploring how many different ways can one magician do the same trick. And that trick is one of the oldest tricks in all of magic, three card Monty. And today's version is three card Monty with four cards. Yes, you heard right, three card Monty, but with four cards. Now, there's a reason for this. As I explained in my first video where I was using the soda cards, I said that in three card Monty, you have two cards that are exactly the same and a third card that's different. The cards that are the same are called dummy cards. The card that is different is called the money card and that's what the audience follows, okay? Well, today's category as far as pictures is fruit, okay? And this right here is a pear, all right? The next fruit is the fruit that always keeps the doctor away and that is the apple, okay? And then of course we have another apple and you can put these two apples over your face and they'll be the apples of your eye. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know the jokes only get worse. And then of course we have a banana. Now, if you watched my previous three card Montes, the regular one with the soda cans, the superhero one and then the one with the Wahlberg brothers, you know that there's always a surprise at the end. So I thought, and the funny thing is three card Monty is such an old trick that I'll be honest with you, a lot of times people call the ending, believe it or not. So I thought to myself a couple years ago, how could you remedy that? And I realized that what you could do is you could add a fourth card, and here's how that works. Okay, as I explained, two cards are the same. They're the, they're the uh, dummy cards. The card that's different is the money card. Now you notice that I had two apples, so they have to be the dummy cards. But both the banana and the pear are different from the apples, which means either one of them could be the money card. So what I like to let the audience do is decide which one they want to be the money card. I give them a choice between the banana or the pear. Now, since I don't have a crowd here to decide, I'm gonna go with the majority of history of shows that I've done. Most crowds pick the banana, okay? So I've had a handful of crowds pick the pear, but most of them pick the banana. So I'm gonna put the pear right over here on this stand so you can all keep an eye on it. And now we're gonna do three card Monty with these cards. We have an apple. We have another apple, and we have a banana, and your job is to keep your eye on the banana, please. Where, oh, where is the banana right now? The banana would be in the middle. But if I do this right here, where's the banana? That would be in the middle, again. One more time, where's the banana? Right here. So the banana's in the middle. What's on the bottom? Well, that would be one of the apples. And if the apple's on the bottom and the banana's in the middle, what's on top? That would be the other apple, correct. So if the apple's on top and the apple's on the bottom, what's in the middle, that would be the banana. No. You see, the banana just took the elevator system down to the bottom floor. So if the banana's on the bottom floor, then where are the two apples? Well, you would think on top, except we have one banana here and we have one banana here, which means we now have a whole bunch. <laughs> bunch of bananas. No, that joke never gets a laugh and the, it gets groans. And the reason it gets groans is because it's not true. We do have an apple on the bottom. Now this is the point where people start to think like they always do that I have more than three cards. Now the best part about this version is when they accuse me of that, I can say, of course I have more than three cards. We're not using the pair. You guys decided you didn't want to use them. They go, no, no, you're holding more than three cards right now. And then I do the shake test like I did in the other video to count one, two, three cards. But if this is an apple and this is a banana, then what's this? And what normally will happen at this point is someone will yell out that they think it's the pear that I put over there. And I say, you know, I put the pear over there, so if the pear would he was over here, that would be amazing. But you know what, as a magician, I do take requests. So if you want the pear over here, the pear will be over here. So if this is the pear, then what is that? And most people think it's going to be the apple they saw a few minutes ago. The problem is what people don't realize is contrary to belief, tomatoes are fruits too. And that's three card Monty with four cards. Thank you very much.